Yo, Valve is making games again? Question mark? We got some Half-Life 3 leak, and it's not a meme this time, dude. I mean, like, for real. We even know the names for some of the Zen creatures. We get to whack with a crowbar. Also, on top of that, 12,000 people are currently playing a new PvP game that technically quote unquote, doesn't exist. Has our Lord Gabe finally learned how to count to three and thus returned to the kitchen to cook up them bangers like the good old days? I mean, f the return of the McRib. I want that beer Barney owes me. Catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. About that beer I owed you. Valve has been one of the biggest parts in gaming history and has been a trendsetter for decades. I mean, I'm talking Half-Life series, Left 4 Dead, Portal games, TF2, Dota, Counter-Strike, and on all top of that managed to make one of the most feature complete VR games on the market, Half-Life Alex. As of late though, Valve's focus has been less on making games and more on making money. So any news on any new Valve games is definitely gonna grab my attention. And hey, I'm not gonna complain. PC gaming would be a lot worse without Steam in the picture, man. I mean, just think of how god awful it would be if Steam was run by one of those vampires on Nintendo, PlayStation, or god forbid, somebody like Bobby Kodak. Ugh. Send shivers down my spine. But hey, I feel a change in the wind, baby. More Valve games, Illigo. For a little while now, it has been well known that behind the scenes, Valve has been hard at work with a handful of Source 2 projects. And I have a feeling we're gonna be getting one very soon. Speaking of which, let's get this new PVP game out of the way, and then we'll move on to that sweet, sweet Half-Life news. All right, so Deadlock, what used to be known as uh, Neon Prime. It's a code name Valve used for it. And it's what I think might be our next Valve release. And I got a feeling it's gonna be right around the corner. It has had a lot of eyeballs on it recently, with right now, according to SteamDB, getting a peak of 12,000 players. It's quite a lot for a game that doesn't actually exist. If you're curious, like I was, on how SteamDB can track a hidden game's info like this, if somebody in the playtest uses the SteamDB Chrome extension and then plays the game, all of its trackable data will be exposed to SteamDB. Even if it's hidden to little old plebes like us. If you do not know, and trust me, Valve has done everything in its power to keep it that way, Deadlock is going to be a 6v6 third-person mobile-like game that takes place in an alternate version of London. Uh, focus on this one is going to be large maps, high mobility, multiple lanes, cool abilities, and uh, some actually really cool zipline transit system that uh, kind of zips you around the map. Kind of has this like steampunky, arcane slash dishonored type vibe to it. Maybe with a little sprinkle of Bioshock on top. I really know how to place it, but it is super unique looking to say the least. Character design looks pretty snifty as well. You got a mix between like big robots, lizard dudes, samurai ladies, snipers, all with their own abilities. Some look cool as hell, some I mean, not so much. I'm looking at you, Captain the Finger Guns. Altogether, gameplay wise, looks like Valve is definitely taking inspiration from all of its other IPs. But this one taking some from TF2 and Dota and kind of mushing it together on big package. I'm kind of curious what it's going to look like when I get my hands on it. And Deadlock has been a semi-open secret for a little bit now. Even expert linguists have been able to translate and decipher enough excuses to catch them totally not breaking an NDA about it. And it's more evidence that Valve is getting its gears turning and is working behind the scenes towards a actual release. In the background, you can see some leaked footage. That is if Valve doesn't smite this. But I have a feeling it's going to look a little bit different when we actually get our hands on it. There is a question. How the hell are people playing it right now? Uh, by the looks of it, it just seems like Steam's randomly handing out keys. Um, so I'd keep your look balls out on your notifications to see if maybe you are one of the chosen few. Also, and I can't really confirm this, uh, I think there is a way that people can actually invite you to join if you know them, but I'm not too sure on that one. If anybody knows, you know, drop a comment below and hook a brother up. Please. By the looks of it, Valve has been very strict with their current playtesters, sneaking access and barring players suspected of sharing anything, even privately to fronts. I mean, most anti-HD software know when you're using some sort of screen capture, so I kind of suspect them just using their anti-cheat to kind of detect that, letting them know when to pull the plug on somebody. But the internet's gonna internet, and the leaks are flooding in. And it looks like Valve has kind of stopped taking them down. It's a lot easier to find it nowadays. I mean, I feel like the longer that I take to make this video, the easier it is to find the stuff. Editor's note, uh, while making this video, The Verge has done it since some deep dookie. Posting gameplay on their site, obviously breaking the NDA and getting a bunch of shit for being unprofessional, which, I don't know, it's The Verge. So with all that in mind, what I think is most likely going to be happening, Valve themselves are going to officially announce it or help even release it very soon. Shadow Dops have been proven to be hella effective. 
Also, recently, website domains have popped up for the game, kind of supporting that suspicion. Also, a fun little aside tidbit of information for you. Uh, back to that name Neon Prime that was going to be more of a futuristic sci-fi game set in space. Uh, but Valve did a 360 on the design stuff and uh, changed everything over to the steampunk fantasy thing that we can see now. Not gonna lie, though. Kind of curious, and I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eyes out to see if I can peep any space stuff that may be left in there. And I'll be honest with you, this type of game... Not my cup of tea. This one actually looks like it could be kind of fun, and I'm definitely gonna give it a try. Might change my mind. What I do know is a lot, and I mean a lot, of people love games like this. And uh, maybe some a little too much. If Valve gives it this special sauce, and gets it right on this one, it could even be enough to do the impossible. Make a League of Legends player stop playing League of Legends. I've been there, man. We've all lost loved ones to League. Anywho, on to something I give a lot more of about half-life baby it is time that this new generation learns that g-man does not belong in a toilet and then it's time to rise and shine mr freeman rise and shine wake up and smell the ashes and i know it sounds impossible but gabe newell may have very well finally learned count the three. Or at the very least, we're going to be getting something Half-Life adjacent, like Portal or Half-Life Alex, and I mean, I'll take what I can get, but a f***ing cliffhanger, dude. Ugh. Now this first thing here is definitely a new Valve game, but whether it's going to be Half-Life related is a bit shaky, so somebody did put a little bit of a whoopsie whoopsie in the description for a Valve voice acting role, and it leaked the name for something called Project White Sands. Now take this with a grain of salt because it is common practice for Valve to use totally unrelated code names to keep things super secret and such. But let me put my conspiracy helmet on for a second. And spoilers for a game that's legally old enough to drink. First thing I saw when I heard the name Project White Sands is that it would be a super cool reference for it to be the Borealis. It's a icebreaker ship used as a research vessel by Apture Science left frozen and what the Combine and the Resistance were both hunting for that possibly had that portal tech they wanted on it. You know, White Sands, Snow, I don't know, man. It's, I know it's a reach, but a dude can dream, man. A dude can dream, can he? Anywho, now this VA position might totally be a different thing. After writing this video, I saw this random picture, and I'm not sure where it comes from or its validity. If it's real, it would still mean a new Valve game, but a card game. Bleh. Now this resume leak is a little bit more solid in being Half-Life related. Showing that they worked as a designer slash artist for Valve starting in 2020, so around when Half-Life Alex released, and specifically that they worked on level design, lighting, combat encounters, and puzzles. And before you go blah 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 blah, Counter-Strike 2, there was only one thing puzzling about CS2, and that is the amount of money people pay to put a unicorn on their MP9. Now onto the juicy stuff. The real juicy stuff. The data mines. Basically, what data mining is and what data miners do to get this info is they dig through all the strings of code for any hints or clues left from work on other projects and compare them to what we already know. You'd actually be surprised by the amount of things that you can find from one game hiding somewhere in a the code of a totally different game. Sometimes even whole ass games are fine tucked away in there. Now, we have known about something called Codename HLX. For the past few years, Half Life Alex data miners found that the Valve is working on a non VR single player Half Life type game, Project HLX. But this new stuff was actually scraped from CS2 and Dota in their recent updates. Mostly thanks to the YouTuber known as Tyler McFicker. Go check him out. Links in the description. Along with a bunch of other sources where I found this stuff from. This stuff has been exciting the shit out of the Half-Life community. I mean, hell, even the no VR mod for Half-Life Alex even put the details to this in their mod page in their latest update. So in this new project, Tyler discovered that the player character will be adorned with that beautiful orange HEV suit. There's gonna be drivable vehicles, definitely a Half-Life staple. One of my favorite moments are the dope-ass driving sections. Some random AI things that they've been working on was found as well, uh, like sound detection stuff, AI spawning, and some other animation things. Got some names for the new alien creatures, enemies in Zen fauna that you're gonna be seeing on top of some of the old ones that were cut from Half-Life Alex that got a little bit more work done on them. So you have something called workers. I Kind of thinking it's something like an antlion. Definitely something alien, though, since a lot of these have off-world as a priest face to them. Unless it's just some dude with an intermidimensional commute offloading boxes or something like that. Now, feral man hacks? That sounds super cool. I always kind of thought they were like robotic drone type things. So it could be that they went haywire. But the term feral makes me think otherwise. You know how Combine likes to go in and fiddle with the DNA of a bunch of different creatures and assimilate them to be used for whatever? It would be cool if it was like an unassimilated man hack. Either that or some sort of infection. Then you have pentatanks, dorks, zen jellyfish, zen swoopers. And last but not least, Something called the Zen Gorilla, which I don't even know what to think of with that, but I know I want to know more. Also, something else super cool, and I'm super curious, is the evidence of uh, voxel-based destruction mechanics. 
You know how Valve likes to release things when they have some cool new tech to show off? This could be the big one. I would definitely put this down as cool new tech worthy of a release. If it is true, that is. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm not even sure how voxel-based destruction would work in a Source game, but my body is totally ready to start breaking all of the shit with my trusty crowbar. Now I have seen the term full voxel destruction tossed around there, but I gotta press F to doubt on that one. What I would think is more likely is less Minecraft slash teardown, or something along the lines of what Battlefield does with their destructive environments. And that's the Half-Life stuff. I wish there was more, but hey, it's something. A cool little bonus thing I found while digging into this little rabbit hole is that Valve is working on a new VR headset called the Valve Decker, but I haven't really dug deeper into that one, and I'm tired. And I've been working on this for way too long. Not gonna lie, this started as me sitting down to make a small little announcement, a uh, TikTok that would only take like a few minutes to make, and two days later and falling down 17 different rabbit holes, here we are. Anywho, what do you guys think? We're gonna see a new Half-Life game before the sun burns out and the solar system dies of heat death. Also, what's your thoughts on Deadlock? Smash or pass? Pop that stuff down in the comments. I want to know. I read them all. And yeah, that's all. Love you. Bye-bye. Like this video.